The world as we know it will change dramatically. Trucks, ships and planes will no longer run on fossil fuels. Neither will cars nor buses. Your house will be almost self-sufficient with energy. Solar panels on your roof will produce the power you need to clean, cook, watch TV or charge your car. Millions of diesel generators in Africa will be replaced by renewable solar power. This will not only give people uh, stable and affordable electricity, it will give them better lives. What if I told you all of this can be achieved without inventing any new technologies? Replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy will cut three quarters of the planet's greenhouse gas emissions. The last 10 years, the cost of renewables have fallen dramatically, and this has fundamentally changed the premises for how the energy system can and will develop going forward. The cost of wind power has been reduced by half. You now get two wind power plants at the cost of one 10 years ago. And the cost of solar has fallen even faster. You get five solar plants at the cost of one 10 years ago. Actually, today, in most places in the world, it's cheaper to install new solar or wind power plants than it is to install new gas or coal-fired plants. And the cost of wind and solar will only continue to fall. The investors, they have clearly seen this picture. And today, most of the money that's invested in the global power sector is invested in renewables. The technological change means that we can now produce high volumes of renewables at a low cost. We have the solution for how to cut all emissions in the power sector. Utilizing this zero emission, low cost energy that's now available in the power sector to cut emissions in transportation, buildings and industry is possible through electrification. One example of electrification is the electrification of cars in Norway. Here, electricity is used instead of fossil fuels. Another example is the increased installation rate of uh, heat pumps in Germany. Power will be used for heating instead of gas. The energy system is developing under these brand new conditions and it's developing fast. To capture these trends, I have, together with my colleagues at Startcraft, developed a low emission scenario where we take a look at what will happen if the development we've seen within renewables continues going forward. First, the primary energy demand in 2050 will be at the same level as the primary energy demand is today, despite a significant economic growth and population growth. And the reason is that renewable energy makes up a significant part of the primary energy in 2050, and renewable power is very efficient. All the fossil fuels will be hit by the energy transition and we expect peak oil to happen before 2030. The power sector will really increase towards 2050 and the installed capacity will triple from today's level. Solar will become the largest source of power after 2035. Electrification will massively cut emissions from transportation, industry and buildings. And where electrification for practical purposes is difficult, we see that hydrogen will take a key role. That especially goes for hydrogen produced from renewable power. Five years from now, we expect electric cars to be cost competitive compared to conventional cars. In 2050, all cars will be electric. And 60% of all new trucks will be either electric or fueled by hydrogen. Traditionally, fossil fuels has been at the centre of the energy system. In the future, power will. Believe it or not, the cost of the energy system in 2050 is at the same level as the cost of the energy system today. That is despite the much bigger economy and more people. The energy transition 
is not expensive. So where does this take us in terms of emissions? The energy related carbon emissions in the low emission scenario is following a path that's consistent with a two degree warming. But we don't have forever and politics are needed to ensure a fast, fair and efficient energy transition. In other words, we need politics that push the development in the same direction as the market and the technology. Failing to do so will give a more expensive energy transition. Climate action today is much cheaper than climate mitigation tomorrow. The fossil world as we know it today will change dramatically and the race towards a zero carbon society has already started. Renewable energy can power every industry, every business, every community and every home. 